morning guys, in the previous video I built my FX Impact Ultra Compact, which I'm really happy with the way how it turned out. I was a little bit concerned cutting the liner from the back, it would suffer a little bit in the accuracy department, but nothing is more true because it still prints one whole groups at 50 meters, which I'm really happy with. In the comments many people asked me what's the shot count on this setup and with this little 170cc tank in 25 caliber I'm still getting about 30 shots which is one magazine on a fill. In this video I would like to upgrade the shot count a little bit and the most easy way to do this is by increasing the air volume on board. So for that I'll be using the dual bottle adapter by Sabre Tactical which allows me to install another 170cc tank and giving me roughly about 60 shots on one fill. Now, one of the concerns with this setup is that maybe the beautiful Donny moderator on the end won't fit anymore, but we'll see how that goes. Many of you liked the video that I had done on building the uh, Ultra Compact, and I want like to thank you for all the nice support and comments everybody has left me beneath the video. You know, this year I'm aiming for 10,000 subscribers, so please, if you haven't subscribed yet, do so, because at uh, 10,000 subscribers, I would like to celebrate it with a giveaway, and we'll see how that works out. Right, enough talking, let me take you to the tabletop view, let's get it installed, hopefully it all works out like, it like I have it in my head, and uh, we'll see. Let's get it started. Right, here we are, tabletop side. The first thing you always have to do before you do any work on your rifle is make sure it's not cocked, there are no pellets in the breech, and you put it unsafe. Then I'll start by removing the barrel to get more easy handling. Barrel slides out, put it safely to the side. And the next thing we do is remove the air tube and bleed the whole system from air. So there is no high pressure anymore and we can work safely on our impact. Then I'll bleed all the air that's still in the plenum. Let it bleed out. Once everything bleeds out, confirm your back gauge, making sure there is no pressure anymore. For easy handling and getting easy access to the screw of the bottle adapter that we'll have to replace, I'll take off the trigger guard. Make sure you don't lose your screws, put them safely to the side somewhere, like this. Those are the spacers that I use in order to fit that tube, but maybe we can eliminate that thanks to the design of Sabre Tactical. And the next thing we gotta do is replace the bottle adapter you have here with the Sabre Tactical dual bottle adapter system. This piece can be glued in with some red Loctite, so I would advise clamping it in to a vise using a 24 millimeter box wrench. Try to avoid this shape, use a box wrench so you have more leverage on the bolt you see there. Right, let's head over to the bench and try to undo it. Okay, I've clamped in to the vise. Um, I clamped it in by the scope rail, removed the scope, it's a little bit easier and I had more grip on the gun. I didn't want to pinch anywhere here. So um, let's see if we can break it loose. <clears throat> Seems to be pretty tight. Oh, suddenly I have it. Gently undo it. And I can already see there was some Loctite on it. Like this. So back here on the table, as you could see, I was successfully to remove uh, that bottle adapter. One quick tip, make sure the hole is clean. There is no debris left from the Loctite used on the bottle adapter so it doesn't get in to all the system and blocks your regulator, maybe. So, put this somewhere safe to the side if you ever want to convert back to one bottle. 
And the next thing we can do is install the double bottle adapter by Saber Tactical. Now, this is the second generation of bottle adapters. They have uh, changed their design just a little bit. I believe the first one was a straight one, but it was interfering with the, the new bigger gauges they have put on the Impact Mark II. And the new design uh, allows for the bigger gauges to be fitted where the older impacts just had that smaller gauge. Now, very simple, the logo makes sure in which direction it goes on. Simply align it, screw it in. Maybe I'll put it on top, upside down like this. There is an O-ring on the inside that should seal everything. The two grooves also make sure it gets aligned nicely on your bridge block, as you can see. Then I use a 14 millimeter to tighten it up. As with everything, I don't think it has to be Gorilla tight. If it leaks air, we can always see what to do to improve it. And like this, the bottle adapter is already fitted. Maybe you remember I had to make uh, a custom valve adjustment wheel or adjustment screw, let's say, in order to make it able to fit that tube underneath. But I believe with a setup like this, we can change it back to the original one. So simply unscrew this one again. Make sure we don't lose the spring. This part can go back in my parts bin. Maybe I will ever convert it back. The custom made screw and leave the original part. Then I take my original adjustment uh, screw again, drop this one back in like this. It was press fit as you may remember. Then I take this screw goes back in the back side. I need the correct Allen key. I think it's four millimeters. Yes, correct. Tighten it up like this. Put your spring back in and the original valve adjuster. Maybe it's easier to put it in this part first. Make sure it seats nicely and you can start screwing it in again. Mine should be normally about line 3, so it goes in all the way to line 3. I will have to chronograph it to make sure it's back to where it was. In the setup before I was also using two spacers to make sure the trigger guard was dropping just a little bit in order to make it able to fit that 170cc tank. But thanks to the dual bottle adapter, we won't be needing this anymore. So now I can install this again. As with everything, I first start all the screws before I start tightening and then down. This way I make sure I'm not forcing any threads and ruining the thread on them. Tight is tight. Don't have to go Gorilla Force on them. Like so. Put it here. With the previous setup, I was using the Donny FL Ronin because it just matches the length of the 170cc tank. Now, due to the added uh, space of the dual bottle adapter, it, uh, the two tanks will sit a little bit uh, in front of the Ronin, so I'll switch out the Ronin for the Emperor. Make sure you thread it in straight. like this 
and we can reinsert the barrel. Tighten the barrel screw like this. And with all that installed, it's about time we install the 170cc uh, tanks, which I'm afraid maybe they won't fit, but let's find out. Let me take the first one. Ooh, I think we're gonna be lucky. Oh yeah, still have a nice clear space as you can see. Now, one thing, the bottle adapter connects the two bottles together, which means if I screw this one in, all the air from this bottle will rush out from this end. So we'll actually have to do it together simultaneously. That's going to be another trick. Second bottle. Ooh, I'm going to like this. It looks really awesome. Okay, both bottles are just before the, the moment the valve will open and the air will start rushing through. Right, let me think how I'm going to do this on camera. Now the easiest way to get both bottles on, of course, the most easy way will be if one bottle would be completely empty, you can screw it on and then the second one and uh, that would work the best, of course. Um, but I have two bottles with some air inside. Maybe the easiest way is to clamp it between your legs and twist with two hands at the same time. Um, but to do this for you on camera, I think the easiest will be to remove the moderator for a second. And then it's just a matter of being quick. I'll start with the back one. Wish me luck. Oh, it seems like it's not running out. That's one. And the second one. Sweet! That went rather nice. No issues at all, no air leaking. Putting that nice Donny back on. Look at that, <laughs> really nice, cool setup. Sweet. The only thing is left to do, put uh, the scope back on, put it on a bipod and I'll see you back at the table. Well guys, and here it is, the end result. And by the big smile on my face, you can probably see I'm really digging this setup. Thanks to the dual bottle adapter of Sabre Tactical, we're now able to fit two 170cc tanks on it, which brings our shot count from 30 to probably 60 or a little bit over 60. We suffered a little bit in compactness uh, with this setup compared to the one bottle setup, but in my book it doesn't matter because it really looks badass with those two big air tanks at the front. Really digging it. Also, thanks to the dual bottle adapter of Sabre Tactical, we were able to replace the trigger guard as original without the shims in between. We were able to uh, put the original valve adjuster back on, which I really like instead of the custom made one that I made. Also, the Emperor fits back on it with enough room between the bottles and the Emperor, making it really look badass. Also, installing the dual bottle adapter by Sabre Tactical was very easy. Just take the original uh, bottle adapter off Replace it with the system of Sabre Tactical, screw your two tanks on and you're ready to go. Really looking forward to taking it out in the field and testing it again. That brings this video to the end. I thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.